It's easy to get overwhelmed by this footage. It's blurry and chaotic. There are hands everywhere, people are yelling. There's a suspicious rope. And at the center of it all is one terrified baby elephant named Salma. Don't get turned off by all the motion and commotion. What you are looking at is one of the most uplifting conservation stories of the year. And it all started when a man named Rudy received a phone call. Okay, that is not Rudy, that's actually me. And none of my phone calls have led to anything that even resembled this. <laughs> this guy is Rudy. Hi, James. Or at least, that's what he looks like when you're Skyping him from the other side of the world. He lives in the looser ecosystem in Indonesia where he works to protect local biodiversity. Well, that's the boring way of saying it. Rudy is an elephant riding, deforestation fighting, Goldman Prize winning, Leonardo DiCaprio handshaking, environmental hero. You know, one of those. So Rudy, I've seen the dramatic footage and I'm wondering if you can tell us how did this all start? So in June, a local village called our team and they informed us about the one baby elephant with the snare in the leg of this baby. So Rudy's team gets a call about an injured elephant and it's been injured by a snare, a trap that is set by poachers to capture local wildlife. Immediately, Rudy and his team headed towards the village where the call had come from. The problem was that in this case, Rudy and his team didn't know where exactly this injured elephant was. All they had was a set of the baby's footprints, and so they would follow these footprints in hope that it would lead them in the right direction. So this is very uh, difficult location because uh, far and remote uh, remote village. We tracking them by the track of elephant, baby elephant. The problem was parts of the baby elephant's footprints were lost, and so the team began to lose hope. But even well into the night, they didn't stop looking for Salma. It wasn't until the afternoon of their second day searching for Salma that one of Rudy's team members heard a faint sound coming from below the ground. In the second day, we found her in the cave, like a hole in the, around the two meters deep. It may not look like much, but the hole that Salma was stuck in was the entrance to a cave that was over seven feet deep. In order to get her out, they would need several team members to push from below and others to use that rope to pull her up from above. Very difficult to rescue her. And two of our field staff turned to the, to the cave. After a hour, few hours of uh, walking together with the team, finally we can rescue this baby elephant. It wasn't until Salma was out of the cave that the team realized just how dire the situation was for her. In the light of day, the injury to her leg was exposed. It's a very bad situation. The snare destroyed the leg of the baby elephant. This is, I think, more than five centimeters deep. And also, the baby elephant has got the infection, serious infection. At that time, there is no one belief we can save this baby elephant. But our team always optimist and we have to rescue, even this is very difficult and very expensive. Rudy's team, led by an expert veterinarian, began treating Salma's injuries, giving her an IV to avoid dehydration and spraying disinfectant on her leg. We cannot give up. The elephant is like a human. We need to save any single elephant 
Rudy's team wanted to take Selma to an elephant camp where she would be able to rehabilitate. The problem was, this camp was miles away, and it was quickly getting dark. This is a remote area. We have to use boat to transport from uh, this location to the nearest village. And this is around the two hours by, by boat in the dark. We pick up this baby to, to the nearest village. And then from the village, seven hour drive to the elephant camp in Leuser ecosystem. But before we arrive, we also need another boat. This is around 30 minutes. And we arrive early, very early morning. And then we drove the baby elephant to the camp, elephant camp. The planning, we will release this baby elephant back to the wild, back to their family in the future. By the time that Salma reached the elephant camp, it had been four days since Rudy originally got the phone call about her fate. But for Rudy, this seemed to be an obligation, something that he wouldn't think twice about. This is our world, this is our earth, and we have to save this together. <laughs> 